So here we are in the real shed. This is the absolutely real shed. This is actually my wife's studio. She's a sculptor, a very talented sculptor, I would say that. And she, she's, uh, I don't know if the camera picture up down there on the right is Bishop Trevor Huddleston. That was her most recent life-size bronze that she's done. But anyway, I digress. Last night I was thinking, well, how am I going to do this? And I thought, oh, I, oh I've got that X5. Um, I don't like the X5. It was given to me for another project and uh, flew it manually, flew it with an autopilot, but it was a little bit too quick, skittish. It just... I don't like it. <laughs> um, uh, I live at 5,000 feet and it's hot. It's about 30, 35 today. In fact, it's too hot to be in the shed. As soon as I've done this, I'm running out of here back to the shade. So this, this isn't great for altitude and loaded. It works great as a model airplane, uh, but put a camera in it and an autopilot extra weight and then it, it, it falls apart. So I use that and it means I can um, protect the autopilot in, in, <laughs> in this phone frame. So that's great. And then I remembered when I came out to look for this, my mate Rob in England from flyingwings.co.uk, the place, the real place to buy wings, not China, buying from Flying Wings, took pity on me. I made, uh, before the flame wheel and all those other good things, I made a wooden hexacopter. And so Rob took pity and cut one out of G10 for me. It's a great frame. It's a little bit heavy. Um, but this was early days. This was before anyone else was doing this sort of thing. Um, I think it was even before the RG Pilot project uh, had multi-rotors uh, <laughs> as, as one of the aircraft you could fly. But anyway, what it means is I've got um, speed controllers, motors, and a wiring harness, so that's great. So all we need to do now is cardboard prototype a way of making a frame to go around this to, to carry, in effect, um, a quadcopter. I suppose having to be able to take that off as well, I have to remember that. Um, and then once I've done that, I'll cut it out of plywood, and we'll give it a go. My the, the thing I'm most worried about at the moment, the thing I think that's going to cause me the most trouble, is working out where the centre of gravity is going to go. But um, all fun and games, oh, we'll have to um, take these up because, of course, the flying control surfaces, the normal control surfaces, won't be used. The hexacopter will be handling roll, pitch, and yaw. Anyway, happy days, it's hot. Um, let's go in there and uh, find some cardboard boxes and start mucking about and see where it takes us. <laughs> 